Welcome to this tip and trick. We're going to have a look at creating um, a very simple park bench using our design accelerators and in particular our frame generator. So inside of Inventor I've modeled up a part uh, which I've just called bench base and this is just a normal Inventor component. It's just an extruded block with uh, three sketches and a few parameters in the back of that and parameters control things like length, width, height, the leg offsets and a couple of other things inside of there. Right, what I'm going to do now is basically I have placed this component into an assembly. You can see I'm now in parkbench.iam and I'm going to click on my design tab and frames, insert frame. Um, I've already gone and created my own um, frame content. Um, you can use standard components but in this instance I'm using some custom sections that I've created uh, the wood generally these are all normally metal components so I'm going to grab 70 by 70 and I'm going to place these straight onto the arms as you see over there and I'll just say apply and it'll put those two frame members straight in for me and again similar thing over here notice I can toggle the direction that my frame is being placed by changing its direction of the block up above here and then those go and I'll just place the two front ones and again I want to just edit that the geometry and then that goes um, I'll change my size to 40 by 40 and I'm again placing the struts inside of here the support struts and I'll put those in you see my frames coming together quite nicely uh, I'm going to change the type to the 19mm thick and we're going to go and put in some 250mm wide. Okay, I'm going to put these onto these edges here, one over there. And one over here. Going quite nicely. And then we're going to grab one at the back here, but in this instance we want to go and rotate that 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees. And we want to put in a little offset, so we're going to minus say 25, 25, maybe increase that a little say 30, that looks good, I'll stick the first one in. Um, at this stage maybe you realize that you've made a mistake, you can go back to the last frame member and you can actually edit that using the frame generator. So if you change your mind in section size and things like that, make it say, actually I don't want it to be a 250, I want this one to be a 200. Choose the 200 size and in it goes. It will give you a message saying that it's changing the, the actual part and it's going to be overwritten with a new one. And we can then go and insert another frame member and we'll choose that edge again. And this time we're going to go for the 250. And we'll say that we want to change that offset by 210 maybe. That's not enough. We'll go in at say 250. That looks better. And we'll say OK. Right, at this stage of the game, um, my design's coming together quite nicely. I can go in and I can turn off the visibility of the bench uh, base that I've created. OK, so now I'm just looking at the wooden components. And from here, I just need to tidy up the design. So I'm going to go in and um, I'm going to use a miter and I'm going to go and miter these two sections here. Notice I could put in a gap so if it was metal I could specify a weld gap. Grab those two there. And then I'm going to use a trim tool just to go and trim these two members here back to this face. And similarly I'm going to use that same tool to just extend these two legs back onto that face over there. Okay, so we've got our basic shape completed. Um, now things to take into account and to bear in mind is that each one of these components is their own part. So they're all unique components and they're all listed over here. And um, if I'm to just change my selection to part priority, I can physically edit each one of these components. So maybe I want to go and stick a big radius on here. So I can say I want to do a, a face fillet between there and there. And we'll maybe specify 150 millimeters. Okay, in that goes, and we can go and grab this side over here. Okay, and that'll go, and then maybe we just go and grab a, a smaller 
7.5 on there and another one on this side over here 7.5 perfect okay we'll come back out and back into our assembly we've got our first sort of curve on there and we can go back in and do the same thing over here if we wanted to so I'm just going to grab a fillet and tell them it's a face type grab the faces that we want specify the radius 150 and we'll stick that in maybe come back around to the other side and we'll put the same thing in over here face fillet in there and there 150 okay and then the last one I'm just going to go and stick in some 7.5 more fillets in there right so my design's coming together quite nicely I could then go in and um, add in some fillets onto this component too adding a lot of fillets here but it's part of the design I guess so that's the one and the second one over there I'm just going to specify that at a 150 and just to the other side over here very quickly there and there 150 as well and we can just say OK right um, last one just a little seven and a half more fillet just to finish it off there and there 7.5 and then they go right so we've finished up our design and there's there it is finished up looking good so we're quite happy with that we can save it and do our drawings etc thanks for having a look